Hello my little butterflies and today's video is going to be my library book haul. Okay so y'all I went to the library yesterday and I have like, it's not that many, it's really not. It's, I think I have like five books, well five books that I checked out and one book that I bought for 10 damn cents and that is good. Especially when this book I think is still like $8 on Amazon, okay. Um, the second week this week, the 9th through the 15th, is National Library Week. And also this month is National Poetry Month. So I said I wanted to check out some books, so I killed two birds and one stone. I have a few poetry books on my shelf, but I already read them. I want some that I haven't read yet. So I went and checked out pretty much a bunch of poetry books. And I have one graphic novel here, but I wanted to get some more. But that's just what I got. I didn't want to be greedy. Okay, so the first book that I'm going to talk about is the book that I bought, and the book that I bought is Me, Earl, and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews, and Ten Cent Show. And it's in pretty good shape. It's not in too bad of a shape. It is kind of, you know, if you can see the, the cup is a little bit, like, torn, but the pages are, are pretty, are really good. So, I did fucking good. Ten cents for a book that would have cost me $8 on Amazon. And I was just looking at this too on Amazon. I was like, God, I still want this book. And I guess I'll buy this with my next set of books. But then I walked in the library and they always have like the books in the front of the books that, that they're selling. And I almost didn't see this one. I, I stopped like, oh, I don't really have no books that I like. And I walked off. I don't know what made me take a double look. And I looked back when I turned my head. I was like, oh, oh, me or on dying girl. So yeah, I'm going to get that. And it's ten, the payback's 10 cents. And they always have the hard covers for 25 cents. I, this was a lucky buy y'all and some people said that they didn't like this book but I have been wanting to read this I really wanted the original cover the like the hardback cover the original cover it was like colorful and it had like different block styles to it I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna put it on here so y'all can see what I'm talking about I really wanted that cover because it was I really liked it it was real pretty but hey 10 cents I ain't gonna argue with it so I have a new book to add to my shelf for 10 cents so I could I could read this book and go watch the movie on Netflix because the movie is on Netflix that's what really made me start thinking about this recently again so 10 cents best book buy like ever so far if I find a book cheaper than 10 cents I'm gonna have a heart attack like for real Okay, the next book that I got is a book of poetry, and it is Crank by Ellen Hopkins, and I think this is, like, she put, like, other books in, it's kind of like a series of collections of poems, you know, this is, like, this is the first book, and, um, I heard some good things about this book, this was on my to-read list anyway, like, on Goodreads and stuff, and I just figured this would be, like, the best time to check it out since it's National Poetry Month, I was like, so, I'm gonna get this, oh, yeah, they do, it's, um, they have Crank, Burned, Impulse, and Glass are some of the other um, books that's supposed to be, you know, in like this series or whatever. But I hope I really like this book because I've heard good things about this as well. I really hope I like this. I'm kind of scared though because I can be really critical when it comes to poetry. Because I like poetry so much and I write it, I can be like really critical when it comes to it. Like it's like, it. I mean like brutal. Like if I don't like it. And, and I always say I hate to say if I don't like poetry because poetry is written, you know, based off of your personal feelings of what you bring through. So if I'm saying I didn't like what you went through, I almost feel like, it, like if I'm saying I don't like what was written, I almost feel like I'm saying I don't like your experience or whatever. But it's really not what I'm saying. I just didn't enjoy it, I guess. I don't know. But I really hope I like this. I've heard good things about this book and I can't wait to come back and talk to you guys about it because I always review my poetry because I just I love my poetry. The next book that I got from the library is A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare and I got the No Fear Shakespeare version just in case because I don't want to get the regular version and then I'll be like oh no this is not working. Like um I've read two other like two other like books by you know William Shakespeare and I read like the No Fear Shakespeare version and that is a good the No Fair Shakespeare version is awesome because if you're reading the original, like the page with the original stuff on it and you're not understanding what the fuck they're saying, you can go right to the next page and read it in like plain English, you know? So I got this one just to be safe. I've always wanted to read more of Shakespeare's like work because I haven't read that much. I really loved, really, really, really loved Macbeth. Like, I love this so much. We had to read that like my last year in high school. We had to read that. And I thought I wasn't going to like it. But I ended up liking it. Like I really did love that shit. So I really hope I enjoy this book. Because I don't never hear nobody talk about this. Like real shit. I've never heard like this piece of William Shakespeare word brought up before. 
like I'm not saying like I haven't seen it on book too because I haven't searched it but like in general I've never heard people talk about it, like like at school and stuff I've never heard this being brought up as one of his works that people like talk about but um I hope I enjoy it like this would be my first like actual like book by William Shakespeare that I will be reviewing on my channel so I hope I like it the next book that I got from the library is a book that I have been wanting for a very 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 long time and it's a graphic novel and it is pneumonia by Noelle Stevenson <laughs> and oh my god y'all I've been wanting to read this for so long and I have been hearing nothing but good things about this book which kind of scares me I always say if I'm like about a book if all the reviews are absolutely great and I haven't seen not one review that was bad about it I'm kind of scared like I'm, I'm just a little bit nervous about it but I'm excited to read this y'all like I'm so bucked up to read this because I've been wanting to read this for a long time and, like I struggle with this a lot because I didn't get it from the library before because I kept saying I want to buy it. Like, I want to buy it. This is the a book that I want on my shelf. This is something I want to have. Like, that's my property. And, I don't know, something's been hitting me lately. Like, fuck it, let's just check it out. And at least if I don't like it, I don't have to be hurt that I spent money on something I didn't like. So, I hope I like this as much as everybody else. Because I'm kind of scared because no one, I haven't seen any bad reviews. I'm going to keep looking. And, um, that uh, set my heart on ease. I hope... If it is really good, I hope I'm not like the first person to write like a bad review or like be harsh on it or something. But I really hope I enjoy it. I probably, I think I want to read it today. Like I wanted to read it yesterday, but I don't know, I got home and I didn't feel like doing anything yesterday once I got home. So I might read it tonight. We'll see. The second, yeah, this is the second to last book that I got from the library. And it is Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. And y'all, I've heard this around on um, book two before too. And... I can't wait to read this because I have heard great things about this and I'm bucked up. This is written in free verse form poetry and y'all I love free verse. Like I like you know the rhymy stuff too but I really really love free verse because it gets your point across better without you trying to sit here and figure out how we're going to make things rhyme. So I love free verse. I really hope I enjoyed this especially because of the topic that it's touching on. She is basically writing um, about her experience of what it was like to grow up in the south during the 60s and the 70s and I like, I don't know why, but I like reading poetry that like deals with that. And that is why I like Maya Angelou is one of my favorite poets or whatever. I just like reading like poet, works of poetry that's like during that time period. I don't know. It, it feels like it's just so much more like emotionally touching. And I like to be touched emotionally when I'm reading poetry. So I guess that's why I like it so much. And I'm excited to read this. And y'all, when I saw this, because I was like, I want to buy this. If, if I buy the book and it's like this, I want it. Like, I love the deco edges. I love deco edges on books. So, if I buy this, I hope the edges are just like that. Because I love the deco edges. That's beautiful to me to put on a bookshelf. I love that. The last book that I have from the library, and it's also a collection of poems, is Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. Or Silverstein. Um, this is a collection of poetry, but I think this is like children's poetry. But I had I've seen this like a long time ago. Like I've seen this a lot when I've gone to the library and I kind of wanted to get it. I really wanted to read it for me, but in my mind I told myself to get it. I'm getting it and I'm gonna read it to Khalil since it's supposed to be children poetry. But it's really for me. Like it's really to read it to myself. Okay. Um I've heard good things about this as well. Okay, now I haven't really looked to because it's such an old collection of poetry, I haven't really looked, like actually looked to see like what the reviews are like for this book. But majority of the reviews that I've seen, like when I've heard people bring this book up, they have good things to say about it. So I'm excited. And I'm sorry, children poetry really warms your heart, you know, because children poetry is not something that's necessarily sad emotionally, but it's something, it really like warms your heart. Like children poetry is really like cutesy, you know, and it's like adorable and it's like, oh, and it's like funny. So I'm happy to have this because it's gonna at least it'll be something that'll like maybe bring my spirits up or make me like like have me laughing and stuff. Um and won't have me like emotional in the sense of oh my god, I've just got depressed from reading that poem, you know? So I'm excited to read this, I'm excited to review this. I'm really excited for all of the books that I have uh, from the library this month. And y'all, this is like a shitload of books to add to my TBR. <laughs> this month and I was not thinking about what I was doing when I like did my TBR and then went and got these books too because I wanted to read them this month because they're like relevant for me to read them this month I just add like a shitload of books to my TBR but because all of these are 
works of poetry and one graphic novel, it shouldn't take me long at all. Like I could finish a um, a collection of poems in a day. So I mean, I should it should be doable, but we'll see. Cause it's not like it's just like two extra books. It's five. So. We'll see. I mean, I, I think it, I just made my TBR ambitious for this month. But um, I'm an ambitious person. I mean, ambition gets people places. So hopefully I can get through it. And y'all don't know how fucked up I'm going to be if I read all of these books this month. Like, I'm going to shock myself. So I hope I have a really good reading month. It looks like from the books that I have that I want to read this month, like, like, as of now, it looks like my reading month is going to be fucking A1. It looks like it's going to be pretty good this month. Um, I think that's all for this video. Um, I don't want to start ranting or anything in the video. I just wanted to, you know, be quick, simple, and to the point. But, um, thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!